Today, children everywhere are making preparations for an event of world-shaking significance, the annual visit of Santa Claus. Informed sources report legions of junior citizens are making monumental efforts not to cry and not to bow. Meanwhile, letters by the thousands have been flooding postal facilities at the North Pole. Doggone thing always conks out when you... Well, hello there. Uh, my name's Special Delivery Kluger, SD for short. Oh, I've got lots of letters for Santa today. And every year, they're the same. Some ask for toys, but a lot ask questions. Like you take this one. I bet one of you wrote it. Dear Santa, why do you wear a red suit? Uh-huh. I thought so. And this one. My turn. Dear Santa, why do you come down the chimney when I'm asleep? How about these? Why do you have whiskers? Why do you live at the North Pole? Why do you leave presents and Why do you always come on Christmas Why is your sleep? Why, why is some dear girl call you Chris Kingo? Why? 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 Now hold on, hold on. I can answer all your questions because I know everything about Santa. Now Santa is a busy man. He has no time to play. He's got millions and millions of stuff on Christmas Day. So you better write your letter now and mail it right away because he's getting ready with his reindeers and his sleigh. So you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. So you want to know all about Santa, eh? Best place to start is at the very beginning, when Santa was just a little baby. You mean Santa was once <laughs> a baby? Of course. Everybody's got to be a baby at least once in their lives. Now, this was years and years ago, oh, way back. In one of the northern countries, there was a small city called Somnitown. It was a cold, cold place which shivered in the shadows of the strange mountain of the Whispering Wind. Now, the main reason for all this gloom was the mayor. A mean old grouch of a fellow who was known as Burgermeister Meisterberger. <laughs> Herr Burgermeister, Herr Burgermeister, look what was discovered on your front stoop. What? What, Grinsley? The milk? The daily paper? No, sir. A baby. Oh, is that all? A baby? A baby? And there's a note. Please, sir, take care of my child and protect him from the dangers of the mountain of the whispering winds. He will be exceptional if only given the love he needs. I, Burgermeister Meister Burger, take care of a baby? Outrageous! What's its name? This is the only clue, sir. It says, Claws. Oh, take the little uh, baggage to the orphan asylum. That's the proper place for foundlings anyway. <laughs> Get the brat out of here! Oh, the sleigh! 
It broke away. Oh, my goodness. Uh, where are you, baby claws? Uh, oh, do come back. Come back. Well, that strange wind blew the little sleigh right up to the mountain of the whispering winds. For well, you see, that mountain was the home of the awful, the terrible. Oh, I hate to even say his name. That mountain was the home of the winter warlock, the strange hermit of the north who lived alone in a ghostly palace of ice, practicing his strange spells and snowy incantations. The animals knew they had to hide that baby, and fast. They knew where that baby belonged, so, quick as they could, they started on their way. Where? Where? Well, you see, just beyond the mountain was Rainbow River Valley, and there, by a bend in the magical stream was the home of a jolly family of little people. Elves, you might call them. Kringle was their name. The door was answered by an elf named Dingle. Dingle Kringle, to be precise. Yes? Who's there? There's who? Ooh! Wiggle my ears and tickle my toes. Methinks I see a baby's nose. It's more than a nose. There's a whole baby attached to it. Better call my brothers. Wingo, bingo, jingo, zingo. What is it, bingo? It's a baby, zingo. A baby what, wingo? A baby, baby, kingo. I like babies, bingo. Our babies, the best baby of them all, wingo. They brought the little fella to the elf queen, Tanta Kringle. A baby? What a splendid idea. He shall live with us and sleep with us and drink warm cocoa with us. What will we call him, Tante Kringle? His license says Claws. Unusual name. However, we shall call him Chris. Chris Kringle. Yay! Well, those little Kringles took that baby to their hearts. Soon as he was old enough, they set up a little school and taught him all the important things. How to read and write and talk and count stars on a crystal night and how to make toys. Make toys? Oh, sure. That was the Kringle's main occupation. They were toy makers. The only problem was there were no children to give them to. You remember Sombertown was on the other side of the mountain of the whispering winds, and the little elves just couldn't make it past the winter warlock. So, the toys kind of stacked up some. It's really quite sad. We will never be able to transport our toys over the mountain. Someday when I'm bigger, I'll take them for you, Tonta Kringle. Ah, oh, that will be the day. We will be great toy makers again as we once were. When was that, Tonta? Oh, years and years ago. The Kringles were world-renowned. For, you know, we were the very first royal toy makers. The first toy makers to the king. It's a difficult responsibility. When you accept an appointment from His Majesty, you must strive for just the perfect quality. Then you're the first toy maker to the king. All the soldiers must stand erect. For the kingdom they protect, the balls must bounce much higher. If they're to please his royal sire, the ballerinas must pirouette upon their musical toes. And the clowns must make a king forget all his kingly bows. It's a difficult responsibility when you accept an appointment from his majesty. Must never sink And the dollies always think The teddy bears be furry If they're to gain his royal curry The jack-in-boxes must always pop At every regal command And the kangaroos must learn to hop Into the prince's hand It's a difficult responsibility When you accept an appointment from his majesty 
you must strive for just the perfect quality. That's why he makes such wonderful toys. That's why. The Kringles taught him everything they knew. Of course, Chris had other teachers. The animals. But the seals taught him the most important things. How to have fun and... Ho, ho, ho! Ho! Ho, ho, ho! How to laugh. Real hard and wonderful, like he meant it. Ho, 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 ho! Well, years went by, and finally Chris was a fine young man. I'm a man now, Tanta. I can take those toys across the mountain of the whispering winds. It would be nice if someone played with our toys. If only one of my dollies could be held tight by a little girl. It's decided, then. Tomorrow, I leave for Sombertown. Tata Kringle? Ah, uh, I was just packing. Did I wake you up? I was awake anyhow. I made this for your trip. A real Kringle suit. So that's where we got the red suit. Yep. And he's always worn one just like it, right to this day. Well, Chris said goodbye to all his friends, elf and animal. Just as night was falling. Chris started to make his way through the dismal forest, which lay at the foot of the Warlock's Mountain. Hey! Why, why, you're a penguin. Uh, well, what is a penguin doing here? You're looking for a steak? Uh, a branch? A log? A pole? Uh, uh, the North Pole? Uh, no, the South Pole. Uh, uh. Well, little fella, that's on the other end of the earth. You're just about as lost as you can get. You better travel with me. You need someone to take care of you. Now, now, cut that out. Come on, Ed, 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 Topper. We'll... I'll call you Topper. Okay? Uh, uh. Come on. This way, little fella. Who nears my mountain? You are doomed. Come on, Topper. <laughs> I shall get him when he returns. He's got to cross my mountain on the way home. And then... <laughs> no more being the nice guy. <laughs> We made it, Topper. And, and look, somber town, just sitting there waiting for us and our good Kringle toys. That's what they thought. But what they didn't realize was at that very moment in the somber town city hall. His Honor, Burgermeister Meisterburger. As I suspected, you've broken your funny bone. Oh, what caused me to trip, Grinsley? This, sir. Hmm? A toy? As I suspected, I hate toys. And toys hate me. Either they are going or I am going. And I am certainly not going, Grinsley. I have a job for you to do. Now take this down. It's a difficult responsibility that you accept from the number one lawmaker, me. Have it known throughout the land from sea to sea. There'll be no more toy makers to the king. All the tin soldiers melt them down. Wash the face of every clown, each bouncing ball deflated. No, I don't want to debate it. The ballerinas who pirouette arrest their musical toes, outlaw the dolls and sink the boats. They bring me only woes. It's a 
difficult responsibility that you accept from the number one lawmaker, me. Have it known throughout the land from sea to sea. There'll be no more toy makers to the key. Every jack in the box be sealed. Till my wounded pride be healed, stuff animals, unstuff them. When a child objects, rebuff them. No more drummers who rat a tat tat, no buglers who root a toot toot. Don't let me see another toy, or you will feel my boot. It's a difficult responsibility that he extracts from the number one lock keeper, me. Be it known throughout the land, from sea to sea. Toys are hereby declared illegal, immoral, unlawful, and anyone found with a toy in his possession will be placed under arrest and thrown in the dungeon. Now hold them back now. Give me all your toys by order of the Burgermeister. <laughs> we'll never play again. Ho, 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 ho. The townspeople didn't know what to make of Chris. Hi there. <laughs> nice day, friend. Don't hire me. Good morning, ma'am. You are to be ashamed of yourself, young man, wearing such outlandish clothes. Clothes? Look, all I want to do is give away these toys. Toys? Toys? Get him out of here! Help me! What did I say? Well, what's going on here? We're doing our chores. Yeah, no more playing. No playing, eh? Are you washing out stockings? Uh huh. It's one of our daily duties. Then we hang them by the fireplace so they dry overnight. That's the only way they judge you around here, by how many chores you do and how clean your stockings are. Is that so? Well, uh, you don't have to look so gloom about it. Why? I don't know. I just don't like sour faces. Now, I got some real nice goodies for you. But not if you look like this. You better watch out. Better not cry. Better not pout. Why? I'm telling you why. Yeah? Because I came to town. And look what I brought. Toys. Real toys. Why, sure. Compliments of the Kringles. But, but what about the burglar meister? What about him? If he wants a toy, he may have one. I'll save him a big red yo-yo. <laughs> Let's play. Yeah. Come on. Wait. You must not play with toys. And uh, who are you? That's Miss Jessica, our new school teacher. Chris Kringle at your service, Miss Jessica. How dare you come here in those ridiculous clothes and make fun of me? Clothes again? <laughs> I wasn't making... And what do you mean by giving the children toys? Don't you know toys are against the law? What? Yep. It's true. Well, gee, that's kind of a silly law. If the Burgermeister saw you, we would all be in great danger. In danger from toys? Why, that's the silliest thing I ever heard. Toys are frivolous, impractical, unproductive, and... What's that? For you. A china doll? I always wanted one when I was a little girl. But my parents wouldn't... Thank you. I, I mean... Watch out for that, Dolly. She's a hardened criminal, I hear. Well, maybe it is a silly law. I, I mean... Oh, well, what do you say you help me hand out these presents, huh? It's, it's too big a job for one oversized Kringle and a little lost penguin. <laughs> oh, what a good girl. Oh, what a good boy. <laughs> Oh, what a big smile All because of a toy 
If you sit on my lap today, a kiss, a toy is the price you'll pay. When you tell what you wish for in a whisper, be prepared to pay. If you sit on my lap today, a kiss, a toy is the price you'll pay. When you sit on my left knee, don't be stingy, be prepared to pay. If whenever you take, Give a, give a little back, then whoever you love, whoever you love, will give a little love back. A little love back. So give a little love. So give a little love. Get a little love back. Get a little love back. Don't you have a little love? A little love. Glad you wanna get back. Day. Everybody is glum. Ah, see all the little children are playing with their toys. <laughs> playing with their toys? Stop in the name of the law. You brats are under arrest. Take them away. Don't arrest those children. It was my fault. I gave them the toys. You? How dare you? You are obviously a nonconformist and a rebel. Me? Rebel? Arrest this man immediately. For you. A yo-yo? I love yo-yos. I used to be able to do all kinds of tricks. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but you're breaking your own laws. What? What do you think? What? Ooh, 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 I have been bamboozled. Arrest him! Arrest him! Oh, look, he climbs like a squirrel, leaps like a deer, and is as slippery as a seal. After him! He went into the woods. We'll never find him in there. Guess we lost him, Topper. And I uh, slow down now. Ooh wee. <laughs> Wonder where we are. Uh -uh. You are trespassing on the lands of the winter warlock. Hey! Hey, let go! Let go! Mm, Chris Kingle. You disturbed me for the very last time. Now I have you, and you'll never get away. <laughs> Look, uh, before you do me in, would you tell your tree friends to let me loose for a second? You see, I, I have something for you. What is this? A trick? Oh, no, sir, Mr. Warlock. Or may I uh, call you Winter? Mr. Warlock, if you please. Oh, well, I managed to save one little toy. And I'd like you to have it. You... If you wish to give me a present? A, a toy? Yes, sir. But nobody ever gives mean old Warlock a toy. I'd like to start a new custom. If you just call off... Well, well, oh, oh, yeah, that... <laughs> oh, yes, of course. But you mustn't mind the tree monsters. Their bark is worse than their bite. <laughs> their bark is worse than their bite. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Willie Willow, Peter Pine, release the Kringle. Hmm? <laughs> and no tricks now. Oh, oh, no, no, sir, Mr. Warlock. A choo-choo. I've always wanted one. <laughs> What's that? My icy heart. 
It's melting. Well, look, Mr. Warlock. Please, please, call me Winter. Winter? Oh, yes, yes. Suddenly, my whole outlook has changed from bad to good. Great. Ah, but will it last? I really am a mean and despicable creature at heart, you know. It's so difficult to really change. Difficult? <laughs> why, why, look here. Changing from bad to good's as easy as taking your first step. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking out the door. You never will get where you're going if you never get up on your feet. Come on, there's a good tailwind blowing. A fast walking man is hard to beat. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other. And soon you'll be walking out the door. If you want to change your direction, if your time of life is at hand, well, don't be the rule, be the exception. A good way to start is to stand. Put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking across the floor. Put one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be walking out the door. If I want to change the reflection, I see in the mirror each morn. Oh, you do? You mean that it's just my election? Just that. To vote for a chance to be reborn? You put one foot in front of the other and soon you are walking across the floor. You put one There's all kinds of ways we can help each other. You can bring me nice new toys, and I can assist you with my magic. Uh, how? Oh, <laughs> I'll show you. Gaze into my magic crystal snowball. Someone is looking for you. Chris? Chris? Jessica? Go to her, lad. Oh! Only me, ma'am. I thought I'd never find you again. I wanted to bring you these. Letters and notes from the children of Samba Town, asking for more toys. You see, the Burgermeister destroyed the ones you brought. You tell those young'uns there'll be plenty of toys, but only if they behave themselves. No crying or pouting or... Oh, I, I'll, I'll know. I got ways of knowing. My, uh personal friend, the warlock, taught me this. Yes, sir? I can see them when they're sleeping, and I know when they're awake. My goodness. You know if they're bad or good? Uh-huh. So you tell them to be good, for goodness sake. Oh, thank you, Chris. For what? For being so kind. For just being you. Golly. <laughs> now, uh, about the toys. I'll have to kind of slip them in after dark when the Burgermeister is asleep. So you tell all the boys and girls to leave their doors unlocked tomorrow night. 
Well, Chris went back to the Kringles to get some more toys. And what do you think those crazy Kringles did? Yes, sir, they all moved in on old winter, lock, stock, and toy box. I guess they figured it made sense to move the source of supply close to the demand. No, I'm crowded. <laughs> but, but at least I'm loved. Chris made a list of all the children and the toys they wanted. He checked it over once, then checked it over twice. He tried to figure out just who was naughty and who was nice. Well, I guess they're all pretty nice. So he packed up and was off to Sombertown. Uh, uh, uh. When Chris was safe inside Sombertown, he tried all the doors. And if they were open, he knew a child lived inside who was expecting a toy. This is outrageous. Toys. Toys everywhere. What sort of criminal is this Kringle? Sneaking into houses by night. I hereby decree that all the town's doors and windows will be locked tight against this prowler. Well, more and more letters came for Chris from the children. Jessica would gather them together and then give them to the animals, who would deliver them. And Chris, well, he just couldn't turn anybody down. But this time, he found all the doors were locked to him. Now, there was one special toy he just had to deliver. Susie, a tiny little girl who was very, very sick, had asked Chris for a toy Noah's Ark. Chris just couldn't disappoint her. Uh, uh. Topper? Shh. Uh, what is uh, uh, it? You have an idea? Uh, 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 How to get into the house, but not through the door? Uh, uh, Up? The uh, sky? Uh, uh, the moon? Uh, uh, the stars? Uh, uh, the chimney? Uh, 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 Go uh, uh, down the chimney. Great idea. Well, here goes. And that's how he started going down chimneys. Oh, now I understand. That's fun. What a great job I've got. <laughs> Come on, there's a lot more chimneys to explore tonight. <laughs> more toys discovered by the half and the mental pieces. Each house in Samba Town will be searched before dawn. If any more toys are found by the fireplace, they will be confiscated and the children severely punished. So be it. Down! But those letters just kept right on coming. Doggone, how can I get the toys to them? They gotta have toys. Otherwise, their life will be nothing but school and chores and washing their stockings and... The stockings. The stockings. Take this to Jessica. She'll know what to tell the children. Company, halt! Search the premises. If you find so much as one marble or half a jack, the house is under arrest. Double time, hop! We can't find anything, Herr Burgermeister. Good, very good. No toys. Nothing but drying stockings. <laughs> As is proper. About face. Forward. March. Hop, 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 hop. Phew. Thank heaven there were no toys. <laughs> and that's how he started leaving presents in stockings. More toys? But how? No! Oh, blessed it on my... <laughs> I will do what I should have done a long time ago. I will set a trap for that bothersome Kringle. His next visit to Samba Town will be his last. Oh, no! I must warn Chris. But she was too late. Chris had already left with his toys. Oh, Mr. Warlock. Oh, uh, Winter, please. You must help me stop Chris. Please, use your magic. Oh, alas. I've been disenchanted. I have no more powers. I can't even do card tricks. Oh, that's terrible. What shall we do? Nobody is going to do anything. You are all under arrest for defying the law and making toys. 
and for being an accomplice to public enemy number one, Chris Kringle. To the dungeon! Oh, I tell you, things didn't look good. And meanwhile, back in Sombertown... Stop! You are under arrest! Not me! Wait! Look! Ooh, ooh, ooh. What can I do? You have me. <laughs> to the dungeon! Children of Samba Town, you will never, never play again! <laughs> Well, sir, it looked like Chris was finally beaten. Herr Bürgermeister, please, you must set Chris and the little Kringles free. <laughs> set them free? Never. I promise they will never disturb you again. Ah, what good are your promises? Goodbye, good luck, and good riddance. My own town turned against me. Well... My eyes are beginning to open for the very first time to what life is really all about. And I know just where I belong. With Chris. Wherever he is. Today is not the end. It's only the beginning. All the little cares picked along the way Suddenly have disappeared realized the first thing she had to do was set Chris and the others free. Mr. Warlock. Hmm? Oh, oh, Jessica. Oh, Winter, please. What are you doing here? Trying to set you all free. But I don't know how. If only you had your magic powers back. Alas, I have nothing but a few meager magical leftovers here in my pockets. A short-circuited wand. Useless. A dried-up magic potion, powerless. The tiny stubs of a hundred or so magic candles. And a few last handfuls of magic feed corn. Just junk. <laughs> oh, me. Magic feed corn? Well, it's of no use to us. It can't dissolve prison walls. All it can do is make reindeer fly. Reindeer? Fly? <laughs> yes, yes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Later that night, Jessica rounded up some of Chris's reindeer friends. They just had to take one nibble of that corn and... Wee! Look at them go! I bet you know their names. Dasher and Dancer. And Prancer and Vixen. And Comet and Cupid. And Donner and Glitster. Yes, sir. And don't forget... <laughs> no, that, that's another story. Hold! 
Let's go, Donner. Let's go. Onward, Vixen, onward. Oh, well, I still have a little magic. Oh, oh, oh I'm not such a loser after all. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and that's how Santa's reindeer started to fly. That's just the way it happened. We Meisterburgers shall hunt them down throughout the land. Those rebels will not have one moment's peace until they are captured again. <laughs> it's not even safe here. The guardsmen will be coming back. We'll have to push on. I'll go anywhere you say, Chris. Like Robin Hood of old, Chris suddenly found himself called an outlaw. Wanted, dead or alive, the terrible toy maker. maker. Chris Kringle. <laughs> well, those posters are not going to do them any good now. Oh, Chris, let me take a good look at it. Pretty grand, eh? <laughs> it's perfect. Well, since I'm a Kringle, I had to grow one sooner or later. <laughs> so that's why he has whiskers. Ah, but you should not use your Kringle name. It's dangerous. Not call myself Kringle? What other name would suit me? There is one. You were wearing this when we found you as a baby. See what it says. Claus. Claus? Your real name. You must use it now. I knew it. I knew it. That's where he got his name from. Mm-hmm. And it was that name he asked Jessica to share. It was that name Jessica agreed to take as his wife. Jessica. Oh, she became Mrs. Santa Claus. It was a lovely wedding. Yes, sir. They held it on Christmas Eve. And since no town would welcome them, they stood before the Lord in the silent winter woods. And a grove of pine trees was their cathedral. They put all that pretty stuff onto the pine trees. And then Chris and Jessica placed their wedding gifts to each other under the trees. No church ever looked nicer. Oh, please. Let me have just a little magic. The very first Christmas trees. What better way to tell you how much Then a token of affection placed beneath the Christmas tree. The custom started long, long ago when first the wise men free. Gifts of love, of love to a new born baby. But there was no rest for our little group of outcasts. Soon they were forced up beyond the reaches of civilization, up far past the most northern city, past where even most animals live, up to the North Pole. This is it, people. Oh, yes, this is it. We'll build ourselves a nice house. <laughs> Heck, oh, while we're at it, we'll build ourselves a castle <laughs> and the best toy factory in the world. And that's just what they did. And in no time at all... Santa's castle and workshop up at the North Pole. Well, as soon as the buildings were built, they settled in and started making toys in earnest. Oh, they needed toys. Because you see, despite everything the Meisterburgers tried, the legend of Kris Kringle, or Claus, as he now was known, just grew and grew. And as the years went by, 
animals delivered letters by the thousands. Oh, just look at this list. Well, load up the sleigh. <laughs> ah, this is the fourth trip this month. You see, he still had to travel by night because he was considered an outlaw. But when did they stop calling him an outlaw? Well, as time went by, that changed. You see, the Meisterbergers, they kind of died off and fell out of power. And by and by, the good people realized how silly the Meisterberger laws were. Well, everybody had a wonderful laugh and then forgot all about him. <laughs> yes, sir, the older he got, the more famous he became and the more folks loved him. He's very good, isn't he? Uh-huh, you bet. Is that why he's called Santa Claus? That's why, honey. That's why. It turned into quite a proposition. I can hardly keep up with the orders. I'm afraid I'm going to have to limit my journeys to a one a year. But on which night should I go out? I wonder. It wasn't a hard decision to make. They chose, of course, the holiest night of the year. The night of profound love which was the perfect night for giving. Christmas Eve? Christmas Eve. And that's how it all started. How goes it, Mr. Warlock? Winter, please. I've got my magic power working just fine. I can cast up a big freeze, yes, sir. I think I can guarantee a white Christmas. Wonderful! Then let's be off. Oh, well. And that is the story of Santa Claus. Gee, he's so wonderful. Everybody must love him. Well, most everybody. Oh, he's not considered an outlaw anymore. But there still are some. Eh, bah, humbug. Christmas is a bother. The noise, the crowds. I really wish it were outlawed. How can they talk about Santa Claus when there's so much unhappiness in the world? Poor misguided folks. They missed the whole point. Lots of unhappiness? Maybe so. But doesn't Santa take a little bit of that unhappiness away? Doesn't a smile on Christmas morning scratch out a tear cried on a Saturday? Not much, maybe. But what would happen if we all tried to be like Santa and learn to give as only he can give of ourselves, our talents, our love, and our hearts? Maybe if we could all learn Santa's beautiful lesson, maybe there would finally be peace on earth and goodwill toward man. Hey, it's getting late, and I've got these letters to deliver. And you better be getting home, too. Uh, and remember, behave yourselves. Because Santa can still look into his magic snowball and see just what you're up to. And now that you know all about him, you can be darn sure that comes snow or high water, Santa Claus is coming to town. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town He's making a list and checking it twice He's gonna find out who's not like nice Santa Claus is coming to town He sees you when you're sleeping He knows when you're awake He knows if you've been bad or good So be good for goodness sake Oh, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. The kids in girl and boy land will have a jubilee. They're gonna build a toy land town all around the Christmas tree. So you better watch out. Better watch you better out. not cry. You better not cry. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming.
is coming. Santa Claus 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 is coming. Santa